Uh, Green Party co-leader Matiria Ture took four weeks sabbatical leave from her parliamentary duties to learn te reo Māori. On her return to the Beehive yesterday, she delivered her first speech for the year to Parliament in Māori. Matiria Ture joins me now. Te nākwe, e hoa. Oh, kia ora, John. Uh, nā mihi uh, i tō rā whānau. Uh, well, Happy birthday. Yeah, well, look, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I... I, I did Māori for a year, and every time I went back oh, to yeah. class, uh, I, it took me the first half of the class to get back to where I'd left the, right the previous week. And in the end, yeah, I it's just... Hard. Was, it's hard. But how'd you go? The first four weeks were fantastic. My uh, tutor, Kellyanne Tahitahi from um, Otako, she's amazing. Um, but it is really hard to keep it going. That's the thing. It has to be a constant journey. I've tried to learn in the past and always failed to really get the next step. So yesterday's um, Fai Korero in the house was about trying to push myself that little bit further. It was amazing. Yeah, and so tell me about your background. Well, I was a, I'm was a child of the 70s. I was born and raised in uh, Palmerston North. You know, there wasn't this revitalisation of te reo. I was kind of a generation that kind of fell into the crack really between the old styles um, and the kind of new revitalization so I don't have any background in te reo at all Learn, tried to learn it at school and things but it's um, it really is trying to pick up from you know um, really no real background in it and, and was that an absence you felt very keenly Yes, and especially now as a Māori woman leader and you know one of the senior Māori women in Parliament, there is an expectation that I can respond to people who want to hear the real from me. And I want to, I, I'm wanting to learn now because I want to be able to be responsive to their needs for that leadership. Heaps of people have said to me uh, since that um, I've been an example for them about how, about learning and being brave about speaking any, even if you don't know a lot and I think that's important too that those of us in public positions that we are open about the fact that we are learners and learning is good learning is okay it, it, it's sometimes when you hear orators and I think of Julian Wilcox ex Maori TV <laughs> and I and so and you know and I when he speaks I understand about 10 percent of what he's saying but the hairs stand up on the back of my neck I mean the great Maori orators are just magnificent but it's also intimidating speaking in front of them isn't it because you want to be good and you aren't as good as you want to be yeah, that's right. It can be. So, you know, actually, Julian has been a mentor for me through this process, and I, he will continue to be so, and that's that's fantastic. But um, that's the thing. I want people to know that we can put ourselves forward and we can take the risk and speak out ill and that there are people around us who will be really supportive and so you know if I can do it in public then we can all we can all have a go in private in our own little ways there's nothing to be fearful this for Māori especially this is our deal we're entitled to own it we're entitled to learn it and we should feel um, really proud of doing that did, did, even did, if it is hard and scary did you feel proud in the house yesterday Oh, I did. I was shaking and, you know, I'm really shy about it too. You know, like everybody, I'm nervous about getting it wrong and embarrassing myself and embarrassing others. But there was an amazing amount of support. So I feel real renewed vigour for it now. And I hope other people do too from kind of me putting myself out there a bit. Yeah, congratulations and thanks for joining us. And I look forward to hearing you speak more of it.